Name's Anji. And if you try anything stupid, I won't hesitate to put an arrow in your head. She's probably the best archer in Skyrim. Sorry, a girl can't be too careful out here. Like I said, name's Anji, and I've been living out here for a couple of years now. Why'd you live in isolation? I moved here from Helgen after my family was killed. Oh, fair. At the time, I couldn't stand to be around anyone. They all felt sorry for me, and I didn't want them to. It was my problem, not theirs. And here's the worst thing you can say, I'm Don't so sorry. Don't be like them. Don't feel sorry for me. Thing is, she has some targets. I set up those targets a long time ago. I shoot at them from time to time. Don't want to get rusty with my bow. Silly that that's all I could that say. I am. You know how to use one? Oh, I am amazing with a well, bow. Let me know if you ever want to practice. I do, I you really do. Bow. There's one on the rack to the left of the door. I would rather test my ebony bow. Excellent. Follow me to the targets and we'll begin. Sure. Let's begin. She has some challenges for us, but every time we pass, we get a new level up. She always said composure was the key to a successful archer. If you can remain calm, even in the midst of chaos, your arrow will most likely find its target. Okay, let's see what you can do. Remember to stay within the boundaries and only use the practice arrows. I have some if you don't have any. Aim for the middle target. Yeah, I'm gonna only need use the, the practice arrows. I'm gonna need Careful, the practice arrows. Fire. Here you go. <laughs> what fire? Oh right, it's it's middle. enchanted. So the practice arrows and we have to to hit the middle one. <laughs> right on target. Now hit the target to the left. That should be easy enough. We can also hit the pole instead of the the thing at the top. Like that. Great shot. Now hit the target to the right. Sure thing. Nice shot. Right on target. There's also one back there. That's only gonna come up later. Hey, watch it. <laughs> you weren't even in the way. Why are you complaining? Anyways, huh? let's practice. Excellent. Follow me to the targets and we'll begin. We are here. And I should probably My older brother took me gather out the some of the practice arrows. Oh, so it's like a cog. Interesting. Oh, she's talking. Apologies. Oh, oh, so don't shoot me. More than one deer in a single location, it was imperative we kill as many as we could. If you can learn to keep your composure and trust that each shot is true, then you should be able to quickly handle multiple targets. When I tell you to, try and hit each of the three closest targets in eight seconds. Eight seconds, that's all she's gonna give me, but fortunately... One, two, three, and then say go. You have eight seconds to hit each of the three targets. You said it. String and get ready. I am ready. One, two... Okay, let's go. Middle one. Done. Be careful. <laughs> oh, it wasn't really that much planned. You did it. All three targets in eight seconds. Nice job. Thank you. Let me know if you want to practice some more. I do. This time will make it a little more challenging. Yeah, but I kind of forgot Great to ask. Those uh, what happened? Two imperial drunks who thought they were above the law. Do you want me to take care of them? Already did. Oh, nice. Part of the reason... It's Anyways, uh, if that's taken the... care of, Excellent. then let's just Follow move me to on. The targets and we'll begin. I am at the targets. Come on. Let's see. Speed and now we'll yeah, yeah, speed, composure, something else. That's the name of the quest. Oftentimes, you won't be able to get as close to your prey as you'd like, and you'll have to settle with a long shot. However, with such a long shot, it's more than likely that's the only shot you'll be able to take before your prey runs off. Oh, tell me about it. I tried hunting in Legendary. In it sucked. Then you need to make your shot count. True. Don't rush your shot. Crouch down, get comfortable, and take aim. Okay, so crouch down. Okay, your turn. Try and hit the target. Arrow ready. Let's the go. 
Remember to take your time and make your shot count. She kind of repeats herself a bit, but nice shot. it's nice fine. We can forgive her. Let me know if you want to practice some more. Next I do. We, we should be on the last Excellent. challenge now. Follow me to the targets and we'll be <laughs> Girl, we're here. So, what's now? We've talked about composure, speed and precision. Now it's time to use all three at once. I'm warning you now. This challenge will be quite difficult. Just remember everything I've taught you and you should be able to complete it. It may take you a couple of tries, but that's what practice is all about. Okay, but it's just those four targets, so... I tell you to, try and hit all four targets in 10 seconds. Oh, it's in 10 seconds, okay. So, let's see. I'm gonna start with the hardest one. <laughs> Be careful. Oh, she's gonna count again. Fine. Draw string and get ready. One, two, three... Okay, so let's go... Oh, God. I hope that worked. So I'll do the furthest one first. Then we're gonna start with those. And the one that's in the center should be... <laughs> and the one in the center should be the easy one. All four targets in ten seconds. Nice job. You tried to psych me out. Be honest. Yeah? Do you want to practice? I think I've taught you everything I know. Oh. You might even be as good as me now. Oh, as good as kind you. scary if I think about it. No, no, no. I'm, I'm really, really good. Maybe I Very can teach funny. you. Okay, thanks. Thanks for helping. It was my pleasure. It's not often I get visitors out here, let alone friendly ones. Thanks for sticking around and keeping me company. It was nice to finally meet someone out here who doesn't want to rob you or take off your head. I know it isn't much, but here, take this bow. It was given to me by my family. It's special to me but brings back too many painful memories. Now, we had a chance to aggro her, Remember, but... Composure and speed. This is a 100% run. It's not an evil one, so... I'll just be glad. And it's time to move on into... more Falkreath stuff. So we're gonna go into South Fringe Sanctum. Because there's a quest that we can only start by coming here. And in the meantime, I'm gonna level up and put the points into Magicka. I'm gonna you use Farkas to level yourself. up, take my money, We've stopped. back again. You need to take? I need to take my money. Lead on, then. Thank you for not caring. Sharing is not caring. Oh, oh, my bad. My bad. Um. That's why I should have used a spell, something like the firebolt and it's now safe to proceed so let me just ready oh I didn't mean to close it let me just ready my Dremora Lords not sure which is the way to go but we'll see I just gotta take care of some more spell swords don't really know the lore behind them but it's probably not important enough. So as the Dromoris clean up, I'm just gonna try and see what I can get. Was it Agroth? Oh, that's so weird. Huh. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, is the fighting done? Good, let me just see what kind of goodies we have and we'll go in. There's also another gate up north. But I'm gonna go this way. Oh, just some frostbite spiders. Gotta be easy. Not much to worry about when you have two Dromoras and a follow- Oh, there's a big boy! I don't wanna deal with the big boy. So let's just uh, do what the Conjurer does. Enjoy his time as his creations do the hard work. It's lovely. Okay, that thing is huge. Ew! But it's not paying attention to me, so let me get my ebony bow out. The road to 100 in archery is gonna be a long one. But we'll get there. And once we do, I might change weapon. We'll see. Destruction could be fun. 
There's a funny undertone to the burned man, burning man. So destruction is being considered. Ooh, someone. But maybe I should just take care of the of the frostbite spiders first. Don't want to save someone just to engage them in battle. That would be a little bit insane. And oh right, I gave some mage equipment <laughs> to Farkas. So there's gonna be some fun stuff in coming eventually. And oh, archery to 90, only 10 levels until we can max it. So yeah, I'll be watching less, I'll still be looting, but I'm gonna be using the ebony bow at every single chance I have. Oh, that guy just ran away. Okay, so maybe we uh take care of it, then we'll talk with the, with the person we've seen trapped. Oh, that's the that's the dungeon boss. Yeah, okay, the boys can take care of it. Uh, sure, sure. Just shooting arrows at a very dense web. Thanks Salveni. for getting me out of that. Bashnag's cup and chased me out and left me for dead down here. Nobody lasts too long with the spiders. Please, will you help me get out of here? If the coast is clear, I'll make a break for it. Uh, do you need to be escorted, or... Bashnag cursed me. Not what I asked. I Please, let me know if it seems safe to leave. O okay, but that did. That did. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. The boys took care of it. Such nice tremors. Under Joshua Graham. And, oh, destruction increased to 21. That's a lot of gold. I'll take it. So I it's uh myself for some time. Far as Bashnag I know, it's safe. Cursed me. Okay. Thank you. When I find my daughter, it will be thanks to you. I'm really just 100%ing the game. Bashnag circle of mages. We He's dead. Well, he is. Uh, I'm not sure how to feel about that. Perhaps it's for the better. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, she's right there. Okay. Wait, why is she still inside? Come on. That's that's Skyrim doing Skyrim things. Okay, and, and now the prompt decided to, to work properly. Great. Great scripting. So to Thunderstone Gorge we go. Because there's a lot more to do. Oh great, it's a master healer. Yeah, because necromancers are... Stupidly amazing at restoration. See? I bet it won't even be the only time he's gonna pull. Yep. Yep. And yet I'm not seeing much of the of the man, sir. Just just watching the necro that he became. Badunt. So to Sunderstone Gorge we go for real these. Oh. Okay, good. Nice it worked like that, because I wouldn't have enjoyed taking those rocks onto my face. Not really the kind of baptism that Josh was looking for. But now I wonder, I have to check. I always have to check. Do you have anything good on you? Man, I'll take that. I think I already have that spell, but I'll take it in case I, I can disenchant it. I'm not sure. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. But we have avoided it. So what else are we gonna have to tackle? Oh, that's a lot of people. Hmm. Can I just... Oh, it, they went away. Shame. Necromage. Oh, oh. Okay, some, some fiery explosions. Not the best. So I'm just gonna keep my distance. Just gonna be looting. I'm sure the Dromoris can be more than enough. And if they're not, I can just spawn more. Oh, Conjuration. I love you. Oh, Farka's looking so serious. Now let's see where this leads us. There's a door. That's a dead end. <laughs> oh, an easy choice. A very easy choice. So... Hmm. 
Oh, 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 um, yeah, I'll take the pedestal gem instead of being burnt. Thank you. Pretty sure it's very understandable, my choice. Oh, I didn't even know that there was a trap there. That was just lucky. Listen closely. And you'll understand why I came here. They've got a shout to get. Over here. Oh, oh, you, why are you attacking me? I have spawned allies. Respect my builds. So it, it says just conjurer, right? And yet it's gonna take forever. Some of these enemies are just way too buffed. And there's also a fire mage adept over there. So in a way, yeah, okay, sure. Maybe that guy is like the dungeon's boss or something. Let me just check. If I'm not missing anything, I'll take all the septums. And oh, so he wasn't the boss. Now I wonder if the boss is gonna be weaker because sometimes some fights in some dungeons do kind of look like the boss is not truly the boss. But maybe that's just because they're taking a long time in legendary mode. Oh, he can conjure as well. Now I'm the one that has to deal with the flame atronach, but fine, fine, fine. That's some fire salts for free. I'll take it. Now that's done. I see some loot. So I'm gonna take the those gems. And let me see what's on that table. Oh, a Baron Zaya stone is there for the taking. But let's get our shout. So this is gonna be Fire Breath Inferno. Let me just take my loot. Mm, lovely. It's great when I don't have to go to separate dungeons to get things that I want to 100% this. Oh, that's nothing. That's just a wall. There's the chain. And that concludes this one. So let's go into Pine Watch and become rich. There's a huge treasure in this one. Oh, Farkas. That was some horror movie stuff. Funny enough, everything is marked as owned. But there's something quite interesting. This place is filled with bandits. And they have a huge, huge operation that's being ran. Oh, and he's so buffed. That's so stupid. So let's go. Spawned Dromores. Let me do my... My looting, because there's not going to be any NPC or anything that will get mad. In fact, it's really just a huge bandit operation that we'll have to uncover. It's very hidden. It's not that well hidden that you won't know about it. Because this game is like 12 years old or 11. Yeah, it's been that long. Just gonna leave the letter on the screen in case you want to read it. It has some funny undertones to it paired with the other ones that we will find. So pause if you'd like. In the meantime, I'm just gonna keep on looting. And I forgot to steal the, the letter. And there's a button, a very, very not so hidden button that's just beside a letter that says that there's three wine bottles waiting for the guy that was supposed to came. Sorry, to come here. So I'm just gonna take the bottles, because I know they were for someone else that's a bandit. Oh, just gonna spawn my Dromores so they can have all of their time. Because I only have them for a limited amount of time before I have to spawn them again. And once again, Legendary Mode gifts me with bandits that are way, way tougher than they should be. Okay, so that's the door. We're gonna come back. From once we do the dungeon. And oh, 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 an expert lock. I wonder if there's goodies, goodies. Oh, it's mostly wine and, and crappy potions. There should be a rule about expert locks. And that is that the loot has to be way better than the skill to take care of an expert lock without any perks in lock picking. That should be a rule. Anyways, just gotta take care of that Marauder. 
so we can move on and get ourselves treasure. Oh, and another thing. I don't know what you guys are thinking about this. Four to one against everyone, but this is my first time playing on Legendary. So give me a break. Uh, I can change the, the build later. I've just gotten my ass kicked and handed back to me so many times that trust me, I'm good, okay? I, I am good. I like looting and I'm a bit of a completionist every time I play Skyrim. So, I love it. By the way, here's more context, another ladder. So if you want to pause the video, I'm just gonna move on. Found a chest. And ooh, a diamond. Amazing, I like it. Okay, so our boys are doing a, an amazing job. I found another chest. This place has a lot of luck picking to do. And that was an amazing item as well, the gold jeweled necklace. Yeah, they don't have much loot on them. Also found this door, which has an amazing reason to come here. That's not just the treasure we'll find at the end. You'll see it. Oh, oh, oh. You'll see it much easier than I did the trap. It's a Baron Zaya stone. Oh, we're gonna get them all. And somehow the worst part is thinking that I'm gonna have to do all of the Thieves Guild's side quests to get all of the vendors that buy stolen stuff. And that's another letter. So let's get ready for the final fight. We're gonna have a mob and the boss should be with them. I think this is the room at least. So yeah, at first it's just some marauder. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's a lot of people. More will come. Archery has gone to 91 and these battles have been taking a long time. You're seeing it sped up, but trust me. Now Rigel here has been having some of his men wandering about his treasure. I suppose that's one of the things that happens when you have a whole treasure room and work with bandits. Oh, more letters. Okay, so... Ah, the good stuff is already gone, I guess. Let's just focus on the treasure now. So yeah, they really, really cleared up the place. Which makes a lot of sense, because otherwise it really wouldn't be under Rigel. So, oh, I saw the trap. Let's see. Okay, so just wait for it to stop, jump over it, run. Farkas did it again. This one was a little bit trickier, because I died in one hit, so it took me a couple tries. But at the end of this room, we have another trap. But not just that, we have a lot of loot. By the way, <laughs> we're also gonna have more traps. Oh, okay, so that's just a skelly boy. Another fallen dragger. See the chest and we have... Oh, uh, my bad. So let me just not die and... A lot of gold, a lot of septums, silver candlestick. Emeralds, coin purses, ingots, a potion, a helmet I don't really care for, more gold, a garnet, and even more septums. Oh, this feels like ASMR to my ears. Just looting the true Skyrim experience. Oh, oh, that was lucky. Okay, apparently something fell and hit the, the trap again. Now, I'm gonna see what the chest has in store for me. And I'm thinking it's time to go and do some Daedric quests. 